Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay you three, we're all done sharing poems right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second, is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right, you deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. The catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ooh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Oh. In your books, maybe. Oh, boy. Look, the only thing different is that Sarya isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. Ah. Sari always helps it lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. That's so. I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ah, uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, not my fault, I didn't do nothing. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Ah, let's just, uh, sandbag, you know, that question. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. I see you'll be making cupcakes. We might need a lot of them in different flavors. And you handled that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm hoping I'm going to print, e printing, and assembling other poetry pamphlets. Sari will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Um... Guys... Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Hi... I'm useless. No! Not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sari enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh... That may be the case. Well... Something is definitely off, and, and Yuri, you know, gave, gave that thing about... Oh, I don't, I'm scared. If I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? I'm about that. I... I love atmosphere. Here's expression Sunny changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. It will be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Kavgui. The one who is truly useless. Ah, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I give to you. Not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, very cool, Natsuki. Mention that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Kabuki may not like to be around if you only make him be a nuisance. Therefore, you may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Oh, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Kevgui too. But what are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking is it? Because what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. 
In the end, I think it's up to Kegu to decide who how he'd like to contribute. And you, besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just sell this already? Yeah. Kegu, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah! Of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Um. Wait, yeah, yeah, whoa, wait, hell, what about Sayori? What, wait, we forgot about Sayori. Uh, yeah, look, okay, what about Sayori? I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and Monica said, Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Please. You really hate us that much? No, no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Okay. I can't. I cannot pick Yuri. Cause uh, something's up with with Sayori. Uh, and and apparently Yuri is in the mix because of that question that last time. Um, Monica. I have no idea. I mean, she likes me. Everyone likes me. I, I just. Um, I mean not Monica, I mean Natsuki. Uh, I'm gonna go with Monica because Sayori's there. I, I, something is definitely up with her. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yeah, you picked me. Hold on one second. Yeah, Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Yeah, but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more suitable for one person, but you already have Sayuri as well. But Kegri was the one who... Uh... It doesn't matter! You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place! You're the club president, Monica! You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club! Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere, interfere with this decision! Ulterior motives? But what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives! Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Um, maybe that's true. Think about the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. But, 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 if I wasn't here, then, then would it have mattered? Um, uh, are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. Uh, it's technically most logical for Kevin to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Okay, well, well, uh, all right, like, as we said before, Yuri's a big no no. So, I guess Natsuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking is a ton of fun. You will definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that... that that's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway... You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. That's good. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. I mean, I would have picked Yuri, but Sayori was ta asking about Yuri for some reason, and it's... I don't know. That's everything, alright? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes. Everything except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Kevgui? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? He's still sulking. Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not just be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. I mean to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... 
Ooh. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Fuck. Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too. But you're going to make the atmosphere special. That would be really important for the way that people feel during their performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Asugi releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but... Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And, uh, and all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. Start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? What? Where am I going? At home? I'm going home. Uh, but I guess uh, there's something else uh, here that Natsuki wants uh, me to do. We will find out in the next episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!